Hey guys, what's up? Today's a good day because today we are looking at Planet Side 2. It's a game that I've been excited for for a while now and I've always wanted to play but I have been, haven't been able to due to the fact that I didn't get a beta key. But now that the game was released this morning at 11 o'clock, it's free to play for anybody to come on and try. So I, I highly recommend it just from the little bit I've played. I've only played for about a half an hour before this video so I don't know all the features yet but I'm going to give you guys kind of a rough overview. So when you first start out, you can choose between these three factions. Now, they've got nice little descriptions you can decide to read if you come to play the game. But you just kind of pick one, change your face and your sex, choose a name, and then it kind of throws you right into the action. Now, there's no, uh, like, tutorial or anything that I had to go through. It just kind of tossed you into the game and lets you go. So there is somewhat of a learning curve, but come on, it's pretty easy. You just kind of go and fight. Now, there's the three factions, and they all constantly fight for territory and it's just one big map so it's really it's a nice change of pace from the other games because there's no missions or anything it's just you spawn in and you go fight for territory so yeah I mean you get a pick from one of I think it's like three or four classes I'll try to show you guys real quick yep all right so one two three four five six classes you can be an infiltrator like a sniper light assault combat medic engineer heavy assault and a max whatever that is oh it's like a mech yeah so yeah you just get to choose between any of these and you kind of go out and fight I mean it's free for all pretty much between your faction and the other two now you do get the choices of jumping in a vehicle so you can get in an ATV you want or, or tanks all the way up to even helicopters and jets so I mean it's it's nice and I mean all this is going on all at once so you have jets fighting above you tanks fighting around you infantry shooting at you so it's it's definitely a nice change from the average MMO I guess so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and jump on a little ATV and try to get us in the action I'll show you guys what that's all about now Oof. see now my problem is I don't know the map very well yet so I could be driving it the wrong way hopefully I'm not because I'm not gonna drive this video on but hopefully I'm gonna follow this tank hopefully he knows where he's going. Drop us in the action. I can get to show you guys this. Ooh, you like how I'm driving this with no hands. I can ride my ATV with ah! Ow, what the hell? Already? Jesus, I was in the middle of a song. What the fuck? I guess you guys aren't the only ones that don't like my singing. Oh! <laughs> Shit! This is bullcrap. Get out of here. Oh! No, 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 no. No, no, no. Serpentine, serpentine, serpentine. Jesus! <laughs> ah! Oh, leg! Damn it. Oh, man. Well, like I said, when there's no missions and it's just free for all, I guess that just kind of proved that point. Although now I can show you guys the map, so I guess it wasn't all bad. So, these are the different options I get to spawn from, but all this blue area is what my faction owns. This purple area is what the third faction owns, and. As you can see, the red area is definitely winning. But that's about the map now. In just that short time that I was driving, I hadn't even driven across one of these little hexagon things yet. So hopefully that kind of puts in perspective the map size for you. Now, let's see if I can't find a nice place to spawn that puts me in the middle of action. I guess let's go here. So I guess, I mean, that kind of covers it generalizes all the different features it gives you. Now I guess I'm going to show you guys some of the gameplay and hopefully you guys will spark an interest to come play yourself. I mean, I highly recommend it. Just from the little bit I've played, it's great fun. So yeah, let's, let's do this. Whoop. Down the hole. Oh, pretty sunlight. So I'm not sure exactly how it works yet, but I guess uh, you are able to customize your guns with suppressors and all that jazz, just like in any other game. And I'm assuming you do that through levels up and kills and all that good stuff. So let's see if I can't show you guys some of this and not die horribly in the meantime. So as far as the amount of people on each server, I think it goes up to like, I think it's like 600 on a server and I think there's like nine servers or something like that. But the most people I've ever seen at once was like, there was 50 some odd people on my team running at a base of theirs, the enemies trying to capture it. 
and there had to have been at least 40 on their team, so right there is 90 people. So that's a pretty big battle, just, and that's just at one facility. I mean, there's battles going on across other facilities as well. And there's a jet assaulting my base. And I'm doing nothing about it, because I'm a sniper. Oh, that brings me to another point. Each class also has its own little tricks it can do. So, like, for example, if you're on that light assault, he comes with a jetpack, so he can jetpack around all he wants. And the sniper class comes with an ability to become invisible for a short amount of time. As far as the other ones, I'm not sure how they go, because, I, like I said, I haven't played much of this game myself. I've done pretty much all sniping so far. Just because so far it seems easy. Ooh, wow. Apparently my computer does not like this hill or something. Got a little lag there for a minute. But yeah, I mean, so far the game's not even that hard to run. It comes with a lot of different settings, so if you're not equipped with the best computer on the market, you still can turn down the graphics and whatnot and still play it. Huh, it's really dead right now. I promise there's more action. Where the hell is everybody? Well, this makes for a very uneventful video. Huh. Well, guys, I think I'm just gonna use my movie magic and skip ahead to a uh, time when I found the uh, action. So I will be back at Uno Memento. Alright guys, it didn't take long, but I did find the action. Pretty much what you just gotta know is you gotta pay attention to the map. I mean, you gotta pay attention to where the fight's at, what points you being taken and lost and all that jazz, because this big of a map you find yourself you find yourself uh, wandering a lot, that's what I did. And that's not a good thing. I mean you would think, oh why don't you just sneak behind enemy lines and capture all their bases? It doesn't work like that because I mean it definitely could if you were in a group of if you were in a squad of six or you and six friends were running around because you're saying you very well could but for each point you have to, for each one of these facilities you have to have six people to capture you have to have two at A two at B and two at C so it definitely does call for teamwork and with a medic and a light machine gun and the guy giving ammo and all that it's it's definitely a team based team based I need an enemy lightning on an enemy lightning. Damn it, I missed. Oh, got one. Found me. Oh man, so I'm gonna see if I can't spot, maybe get a tank and try one of those out, see how that goes. That should be interesting. Cause I don't think I've never actually tried a tank, so it'd be nice to see how they drive and see what kind of weapons I can get and fire and all that jazz. Okay, 
Got you guys back. guys that pretty much just kind of that shows you most of the game at least not not so much the air battles but I mean what else do you guys want to see in this short little video so I've talked about the three different places I've talked about the overall way the game plays and all that jazz so I mean hopefully it's I like I said I didn't touch on everything so this is not every one of the aspects itself so there definitely is a uh, what's this Oh, look at that. Whoa, I'm a beast now. Now you guys are in trouble. Anyway, so I talked about the different classes. Didn't really show them all off, but I did mention them so you guys know what's there. Uh, I showed you a little bit of the tanks, showed you a little bit of the sniping, and talked about the way the game plays. So hopefully it made you guys interested in uh, trying it out for yourselves. So the game's called Play Inside 2. You can play it for free and download it at playinside2.com. I'll put a link in the description. 